Chile. Alongside U.S. and St. Joe's assistant coach Hannah Prince, I'm Dave Leno. Hannah, this is Team USA's third test series of 2018 as preparations for the World Cup continue. Yeah, I think we're looking forward to a fast-paced competitive series for the next uh, week, and we'll see what USA has to bring. Team USA looks to avenge a disappointing loss to Chile in one of the semifinals of the Pan American Cup. In fact, it was Chile's first ever win over the U.S. Let's take a look back. Top spot and avoid playing Argentina as and front for foot. Chile. Here she is again at the top of the circle. Perfectly executed drag flick. A little bit of a bounce, but you Chile see. Chile and an attempt is denied, however, by Hoffman. About a lot the Ateo locks her. Who was going to make the appropriate changes? This is a great job by her getting into the circle, you know, making sure that. To the top of the battery, it's Vitesse and the deflection. Right now, knowing that they have the patience and the time along this end line. Again, this is Jackie Briggs getting Final. beat. Chile pulls off the upset. They're headed to the gold medal match in the 2017 Pan American Cup. This is an unbelievable game that Chile just came out here and, you know, put out on the field. They came out with the game plan, they came out with the goal, and they executed. They took advantage of the opportunities they got in their attacking circle, and they came down and scored with less than a minute to go in the game to make sure that they put their team up 4-3. to three. So let's see how Team USA responds tonight amid the home faithful. Team USA will be donning the home blue jerseys while Chile will be in the visiting red uniforms. In fact, Team USA will have one more test series before the Vitality Hockey Women's World Cup. That will be June 10th to the 17th against Argentina. These test series are oh so important before the World Cup. Yeah, the preparation is very important. Like Dave already said, it's the third one of the year, and uh, July is right around the corner. Taylor West and company getting set here. You see the snow, 37 degrees here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It feels like 31. Winds out of the south at 7 miles per hour. How do the conditions affect today's match? I would say that snow is... Um, not ideal to play in and probably not very common in the U.S., uh, but already off to a good start with Batiste up the side. So Chile's going to work all the way back here with Roman in the cage for Chile is Claudia Schuler. It's her 183rd cap. Batiste at the 23-meter line lost it momentarily, and it will stay with Team USA. Played forward looking for Sharkey from DeSoy. And there's the intercept there from Chile. Gonzalez, the captain, will go all the way back to Batiste. DeSoy on the right wing now. Coming towards the circle, and it will be a 16 coming out here for Chile. And for those that have been following Team USA, this is one of the highest scoring countries in the world. Yeah, uh, very competitive and uh, fast counterattack. So it'll be interesting how many goals they could put in this week. Right now ranked number seven in the International Hockey Federation World Rankings. Chile at 15. If you go back to the Pan American Cup in August of last year, Chile at the time was 20. Team USA was number four. Big players uh, for Chile amid Schuler will also be Yanez, Flores, and Tala up top. Cat Carroll to putting to the pressure mid on the ball. Here's Vatis inside the 25. Being marked there by Villalabietia. Stay with the hit out for Team USA. Gonzalez looking for an appeal. It's Manley that was dangerous here, and it will go back to Chile. Manley getting hit with the ball. Doesn't seem to be pleased with that call. First of the four match test series. Also be matches Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday here at the Nook Complex. It's DeSoy again working on this channel with Vitis. Was tackled there by Manuela Oros and will be assigned for the United States. Showing a lot of attack up the right side so far. Side in here for Chile. And Augustina Solano, there's Kat Sharkey, one of the top scorers in the world as well. Team USA has relied on her hand. Yeah, she has an incredible backhand shot as well as forehand. She provides a ton of speed and aggression in the front line. 
Up the wing here for Salas. Mark there by Frody. And Frody will get to that. Salas trying to keep it in play amid the baseline here. Nicole Woods warming up on the sideline as well as Stephanie Fee. Rose tried to cross that one in. Chile still with possession inside the circle. Good marking there by West. Who will come out here for Team USA. And Yannicka Shotman mentioned prior to this test series that they've been constantly working on their defending. We will have a video review here on the pitch. Again, our umpires for tonight's match, Susie Sutton will go to the Champions Trophy, and Mary Driscoll will work the South American games. The video umpires, Maggie Beffert, here's what they're looking at. Yeah, originally I thought it was a Chilean foot, but we will review the video to see if that is correct. So the format here is four quarters, 15 minutes of length. This is exactly what Maggie Beffert is taking a look at to see if maybe this will be, as Hannah's describing, a corner for Team Chile. Possibly looking for a foot there. Not ideal weather for a video replay. In the cage is Lauren Blazing, making her 10th cap out of Duke. Also played in the Holland and Canada series as well. What does she bring in the cage for Team USA? Lauren Blazing has a ton of energy. She's got a great presence, uh, confident and very strong, um, clear. So it's very good to have her in the cage. So the call's going to be overturned after review and will be the first penalty corner tonight for either country here for Team Chile. USA taking out their protective masks and additional gloves. So Flores to insert here for Chile. Keep an eye out for Manuela Oroz up top along with Villagran. And you'll see the Flyers here getting ready. How tough is it on the defensive side of these set pieces? Uh, very, it's tough because, you know, the ball's coming at a very high pace towards you, but I think a relentless mindset can get you out. To the top of the battery. And Villagran delivers for Chile. one nothing. the Chileans lead. Low drag flick to the bottom left. Tough ball to save. On the replay here, the Chilean drag flick again, going just beside Blazing on the left. And stuck to that near post for Fernanda Villagra. And just like that Pan American Cup semifinal, Chile will take the lead to the dismay of Team USA. Well executed set piece. When Yannicka Schottman goes back at her coaching staff and reviews that play, what would she want to do different there? You could potentially try to get pressure on the ball, but with the insert being such a fast pace and that drag flick was very well executed, um, it's really tough to do much on that one. Let's see how Whitmer and company respond for Team USA. Up top is Shealy as well going inside the attacking 25. This will come out for Chile. And speaking with Yannicka Schottman prior to this match, she said it's a very skillful, tactical team in Chile. You're going to see a lot of numbers back, but they're going to be a team that counters. They're going to wait for their moments to pressure Team USA. Here's Desoy working with Woods, edge of the circle there. Trying to derail her was Roman. A free hit from the 23-meter line for Team USA. Barham and Fee at the 50 looking to sub in. And now they're just going to say it's going to be hit at outside the circle for Desoy. A few substitutions as Hannah's mentioning. Getting ready to come out onto the pitch here at the Nook Complex. Great job by the crew to get the pitch ready. Fans are in attendance here, braving the elements. It is snowing here. Venegas Tala and also Cancino getting ready to enter for Chile. Barnum and Fee as well for U the United States. USA working the ball around the back, entering into the 25. Whitmer slicing through the circle. Gonzalez trying to keep it inside the attacking 25. She will successfully circling around a duo of Chile players. Trying to lead on DeSoy here, edge of the circle. Her cross was denied by Chile, and they're just going to evade the zone. Will be a side in for Team USA. Ali Frody on the ball. 
and you can see what an accomplished two-way player Melissa Gonzalez is, just keeping it inside the attack at 25. Yeah, she's one of the most physically um, challenging players, I would say, to play against, and she brings a ton of energy to this team. It's going to come out here for Chile and Claudia Schuler from Santiago. There is Gonzalez, 230th cap, a two-time Olympian and UConn grad as well. And we were talking about prior to this match just how well the, the UConn field hockey team is doing. Yeah, they just won the 2017 National Championship. Congratulations to the Huskies. Here's a turnover and Chile going in. It's finally knocked out. We'll stay with Team USA on the self-start here for the Americans. Peeling for a foot here. We'll stay with Team USA as Stephanie Fee is going to come on for Manly. Great to see Fee back after an injury as well last year. And Barnum just subbed on as well, number 18. And the cross goes wide by Amanda Magadan. So this will be a free hit for the 23-meter line for the United States. And Sutton and Driscoll want this closer to the top of the circle at that 25-yard line. Barham on the ball. The Fairfax, Virginia, a Yale grad in 2013. Great to see her out there on the pitch two-time all Ivy League player. So you're going to see some younger players out there as well, and that bodes well for Team USA as players come through the pipeline from the under-17s, 19 to 21 team. Here's West. Good work inside there by Flores and company for Chile. Still inside the attacking 25 for the United States. West almost had a crack at it, missed on it, and it'll go back to Chile. We'll see a lot of that with U.S. getting into the circle and shooting. Taylor West with the shot, number 11. It was good work by the goal scorer, Fernanda Villagran, to derail her in that moment. Consino will work the far flank here for Chile. Whitmer looks to be slipping a little bit over there, getting physical on the sideline. Yeah, the target player up top is Kim Jakob for Team Chile. And there is Jill Whitmer from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and Penn Matter High School, a local product. Just so lethal in the attack for the United States. Fun to watch her inside the attacking 25. Woods is going to play that forward, looking for Chile. As a step there on Flores, she'll run out of real estate, and a 16 coming out for Chile. Great attempt at a one time pass to go forward. Nicole Wood slipping it up to an attempt for Lauren Sheely. Oh, it was mishandled there by Chile in the back. There's the turnover. Whitmer has it, trying to get it on her forehand. Magadan, and that was steered aside, however, by Cancino. She did a nice job there to recover for the Chileans. Jakob here on the counter for Chile. Aras, Yanez. Tala is now going to switch the point of attack to the far side. Play to the top of the circle there. And we'll stay with Chile. Will be a free hit for the 23 meter line. It appears that the USA is not able to get many shots off from the top, being very tightly marked by the Chilean defenders. That's dangerous. According to Susie Sutton, this will come out for the Americans here. Six minutes to go in our first quarter. Dave Little, Hannah Prince, and our entire crew here from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. First of a four-match test series between USA and Chile. Chile up 1-0 on the goal by Villagran in the fourth minute. Manly looking to stay warm on the sideline with the temperatures at about 35. Salas lost that. Here comes Woods inside the attacking 25 again. Towards the baseline looking for Sharkey. And will be the first penalty corner for Team USA. Let's see what Yannicka Shopman will draw up here. Appointed head coach in January of 2017. Another look as to why the corner. Cat Caro on the ball. Appears that Sharkey will put it into a foot. Cara, the Princeton grad in 2017. First cap January 27th against number one, Holland. Kat Caro and Kat Sharkey, both Princeton alums. 
Yeah, Sharkey, in fact, uh, led the nation in scoring in 2010 and 2012. Be Van Sickle to insert. To the top of the battery, looking for Sharkey, and that deflects wide. Sharkey striking the ball well, just wide of the cage. And appeared to be a clean trap there by Stephanie Fee. And Sharkey was ready for this. Yannicka Shotman also mentioned that her team has been working on a direct corner plays and trying to come up with multiple set pieces, especially when it gears up for the World Cup, which you need to have a lot of them in your arsenal. Yeah, I completely agree. Taking advantage of those attack penalty corners is key in tournaments such as the World Cup. Talking with her and Craig Parnham in the past, you want to be a little bit above a 30% clip. There's the backhand by Tala, who was looking for the stick that time of Kim Yaka and just over her. But if you can be over 30% and you, you can execute just like number one Holland does, you'll be very successful. Easier said than done, of course. Yes, of course. Having a strong striker as well as a drag flicker is key to that. Yeah, the Netherlands, one of the best and a drag flicking, no question. Sharkey with a quick restart, trying to feed it out wide. Chile again working now. Turnover, here comes Chile in the red uniforms. USA with plenty of numbers under the ball, looking to slow down the Chilean attackers. And Alyssa Parker does well there, but it's cleaned up in the midfield there by Mariana Lagos. Shealy's been all over the pitch for the United States. Now in possession of Yanez. And will be a side in here for Chile. Team USA is working on playing within their structure, continuing to score at a high rate, and as we've been documenting, executing well on corners so far, 0 for 1. Chile did execute on a corner to start the match. USA looking to slow the Chilean attackers down on the right sideline here. There's the drag flick up ahead by Villagra, and again looking for Kim Jakob. Stephanie Fee all over her as well. A Rio Olympian in Stephanie Fee to the two-time Olympian in Gonzalez. Solano Good. almost had the intercept. Frody's going to play that forward, looking for Whitmer yet again, trying to split two. Also as Parker opts to go inside to Sharkey, cleaned up inside, however, by Cancino. He's hoping to see a backhand there by Jill Whitmer. It's definitely one of her strengths, along with her incredible speed. And good intercept by the Chilean defender, looking to clear the ball out of the circle. Whitmer very versatile when she goes inside the circle. And amid the cage, not only with her speed as well as a counter-attacking player, but also her transition game. And Desoy looking to slow the play down. Here's Oroz, meanwhile, for Chile. Over the stick of Barnum that time. Played forward, and this is going to go out for Team USA. As Josefa Salas was amid the cage of blazing. Outletting the ball to Melissa Gonzalez in the midfield, looking to turn it forward. It's another area that Yannicka Schottman and her coaching staff, Phil Edwards, McShed and company want to see more efficiently are those clean outlets and the distribution from the back, having a flawless transition game. And you can see the high press by two forwards for Team USA. Caro. Looking to pressure the ball back inside. Whitmer gets a touch. Yep, there's Caro again. From Martinsville, New Jersey. Came through that under 17, 19, to 21 teams as well. And you've been part of that process. What's that like for a young player to come through the pipeline for Team USA? Um, I think it's wonderful. I mean, I had a great experience playing on the U16 team um, and as well as the 21 squad and then getting selected in 2014 for the women's team and now getting to play on the indoor team as well. It's, a, it's an honor to get to represent the United States. Another look at the chance. Gonzalez looking for West. This goes over the baseline here. All gearing up for the 2018 Women's Hockey World Cup, July 21st through August 5th. We'll talk more about the World Cup and where Team USA is 
later on in the broadcast. Whitmer inside the 25 with DeSoy yet again. Edge of the circle here for DeSoy. That time was stymied there. Ilagran, the goal scorer again, working both sides for Chile. Numbers back here for the Chileans. See nobody up top here for a potential counterattack and just 10 seconds left in our opening quarter. USA has done a great job slowing the Chilean attack down. And that will do it for the first 15. It's world number 15 Chile over Team USA thanks to a well-executed penalty corner. Yeah, USA has done a great job keeping them out of the circle besides uh, that isolated corner, which ended in a goal. So here at the Nook Complex, Team USA looking to rebound after a loss to Chile in the Pan American Cup semifinals. In this match, they're down one nothing thanks to the goal by Villagra in our second quarter when we return to the Nook Complex. It was Villagran who delivered in the fourth minute for Chile. Team USA had few opportunities amid the cage of Schuller to no avail. Here's the lone penalty corner for Team USA. Sharkey went just wide for the Americans. They trail 1-0 to Chile as we're getting set for the second quarter here. Diego Amoroso and his coaching staff Talking with Team Chile, ranked at number 15 in the world. They are not going to the 2018 World Cup. In fact, Chile as a country is not qualified. As for Team USA, it will be the ninth World Cup appearance thanks to winning the World League semifinals. To qualify, they'll be in Pool B with England, India, and Ireland. Just how tough is that pool for the Americans come the World Cup? It's an incredibly tough pool. England obviously just winning the Olympic gold. Ireland and India both very tough competitors. In the previous World Cup at The Hague, in the Netherlands, Team USA finished fourth. A look at both coaches, Yannicka Schopman, Diego Amoroso, also Sergio Vigil is also on the staff as well for Team Chile, usually coaches from the opposite side of the pitch. And our second quarter is underway with Team USA trailing 1-0 thanks to the goal of the penalty quarter by Villagran. One corner for each country. What do you want to see from Team USA in the second stanza, Hannah? I think we'll expect to see Team USA putting a ton of pressure on Chile to, you know, hopefully get some counterattack upfield. I think we'll have some tight marking in the back as well. There's that press that you're talking about here, illustrated with Whitmer. And she'll be the culprit uh, for the foul. And Team USA, nonetheless, will have it here as the umpires will give it back to the Americans. Here's Frode on the transfer to Carissa Fatis. 50th cap for her. Good to have all the Fatis sisters on Team USA. Thoughts with Michelle Fatis nursing a knee injury. Julia Young will not be in this series as well. She tore ACL against Chile in the Pan American Cup. Lauren Moyer also out with an ankle injury. Fatis, that's Michelle. Julia Young and Lauren Moyer will be missing this four match test series. But Yannicka Schottman told us that they're about a couple of weeks away of returning. 
And Batiste looking to pressure the ball. And pregame, I was informed by her sister, Michelle. It was her 26th birthday yesterday. So happy birthday to Carissa. Carissa. Second team all ACC player. Yep, tossing a ball down the right corner. Wasn't able to get under it, uh, Nicole Woods. Roman now will leave this off for the goal scorer here for Chile. And Fernanda Villagran with the aerial. Looking up ahead there for Palma for Team Chile over the stick of Atiz, trying to lead on Salas to run out of room, and Frody will have it for Team USA. The connection's been good with Frody in the back or Stephanie Fee, as well as Van Sickle when it comes to the inserts there, but Frody also gets high into the attack for the United States. Yeah, I think she looks to play the ball forward as well as um, track into the midfield and lay the ball upfield. There's the transfer, a three in the back here. Vitis is on the near channel. It's Frody as Great. the center back. Great vision by Frody. And that'll be Chilean ball. The target there was Maggot in for Team USA. Chile will have it at the 50 now. Palma worked it to the right side inside the attacking 25 for the Chileans. Villavietia tries to keep this in, tried to flick that on. Gonzalez was there as well to halt her progress, still along the baseline. And a 16 coming out for the Americans. And you see the captain going right from the midfield to eight her defenders there in Gonzalez. Yeah, USA looks to have really strong counter defense. And if you have to sprint back to the end line, that's what they're going to do. And great poise by Gonzalez to keep her feet on that play. Manley as well, a little bit higher up. Yannicka Shopman mentioned due to those three injuries that we were talking about that some players would have to play out of position, but Team USA still has to play within their DNA regardless of which athlete is playing at their respective position. Too far from Parker, wasn't on the same frequency there with Chile, a 60 coming out for Chile. But it does show, Hannah, the versatility of all these athletes, just how gifted they are. Yeah, I think a lot of these players can be in multiple lines and be comfortable there given they trust the team um, tactics and they know no matter what role they're in, they're going to be able to execute and give it their all. In the midfield here for Oroz. Working to the side here with Solano. Played ahead by Yanez. And we have Sharky and Caro looking to substitute in. Maggot in. Towards that far flank, hard whistle there by Sutton will stay with Team USA and Gonzalez. The LBT also a threat in the midfield and up top for Team Chile. Villagran is the lone goal scorer back in the fourth minute for Chile. Gonzalez will come out, catch Sharkey right on cue. Here's the outlet there by Frody and the intercept for Chile. Villagra. Goal scorer coughed it up there to Carissa Vitis, working with Parker. Parker on the back end ahead for Vitis, and will be a side in here for Chile. Good attempt at a give and go by Alyssa Parker and Carissa Vitis. Dangerous there for Chile. We'll stay with the Americans here. How do you like the transition game to start the second quarter? I think it could be a bit faster. I believe that USA, it's their strength to go fast. And I think right now they're holding back a little bit. So it'll be hopeful to see a little more speed out of them. Gonzalez. Looking that time for Woods. We'll stay with the Americans on the self start here. Woods inside the circle, searching for Sheely. Barnum was there as well. There's Gonzalez inside the attacking 25 for Sharkey, surveying her options. Knocked out by Villalabi Tia. Barnum will go out wide towards the baseline now with Wood. She'll try to cross this in, deflects off a stick of Shealy, and Shealy's just going to clear. Frody tried to keep that in. The Cole will go against Team USA. Barnum playing with a lot of confidence out there. This is one of her first couple caps, and she transitioned from the indoor team to the outdoor team back in the fall. Joins the U.S. Women's National Team in December, to be exact. Yeah, how tough is that, Hannah, to go from the indoor side uh, to the outdoor pitch? 
our coach June Kentwell does an excellent job teaching us skill and deception and I think that was something her game needed and once she was able to add that um, to her outdoor game um, Janneke you know pulled her up to the to this team and I think she's done an excellent job she's out there working very hard and has had really good possession rates so far this game. If there's some younger players watching tonight, just how advantageous is it to play both the indoor and the outdoor side to get just some reps playing? I think it's a great idea. It definitely helps build your skill. The speed of both games is very high, and um, indoor can really give you that extra touches that you need in the offseason. Caro, Schuler comes out. She'll kick it aside for Joey. Decided here for Team USA. Top to Sharkey, has some space, got it on her backhand, was tackled cleanly that time by the Chilean player, Cancino. And will be the second penalty quarter for the United States. Great defense um, up here to win the ball back from Nicole Woods. She does an excellent job staying low on the Chilean defender. That was a good save there by Schuler on Caro as well. Second corner here for the United States, 0 for 1. In this match and see Schuler speaking with the lone goal scorer for an end of Villagran here. Be Van Sickle to insert for Team USA. Stephanie Fee at the top of the battery along with Sharkey, Barnum and Caro as well. Also has Nicole Woods on the right side. Another look as to why the corner is called. There maybe a foot. Yeah, I think the de Roman. Chilean defender obstructing the ball a little bit, backing into Nicole Woods as she was set in her defensive position. I think they are taking a look at this as the video umpire is Maggie Beffer. It's our second review in this match. And it's actually going to be overturned. The second time it was overturned with video. This is great to have this for this four match test series. So no corner and will come out for Team Chile. Yeah, the video replay adds a great element to the game that can really keep some games that were very close that way, indeed. Kat Carroll pressuring the ball on the right. Fatiz tried to cut that off for the Americans. Good stick work there by Barnum with the tackle. Here comes Matisse amid a trio of players. And we'll stay with Team USA as it goes off the foot there of Roman. Gonzalez, the captain, will switch the point of attack. That time over the stick of Parker will be assided for Chile. It's a tough ball, the trap coming a bit bouncy at Parker on the left side. Alyssa Parker from Maryland, first captain 2017 against New Zealand. Parker will get it again, mishandled once more. We'll go back to Chile. But Team USA has done a nice job. We saw in the opening moments of the match, Hannah, that they worked the right side with Vitesse and Woods, but now trying to work it to the opposite flank. And Gonzalez is helpful to, to switch it often from flank to flank. Yeah, I think it's really important to make sure you have balanced attack and not just try to penetrate one side. Flores. There's the pressure there from Sharkey. Now we're going to help out as well. That high press, Roman is there. DeSoy tried to go for the intercept. It's Gonzalez here. Barnum just went forward as the ball went behind her there. And up top here for Chile in Jakob over her stick at a side in for Van Sickle. This is all preparing for the 2018 Women's Hockey World Cup. It'll be 16 teams, four pools of four teams each. Team USA will be in pool B. Here is Sharkey on her backhand with the shot steered aside there by Schuler. Excellent shot by Sharkey and saved by the Chilean keeper. Jill Whitmer looking to feed it up to the top for Sharkey. Well executed backhand. Be another video review as we heard in replay. There was a penalty quarter called for the United States and will be our third review tonight. Both of which were overturned. 
Again, Maggie Peffert and her crew doing a great job. Let's go back to the replay as to why. The corner called there as DeSoy was coming inside the circle. So we mentioned that Team USA will be in Pool B in the World Cup with USA, England, India, and Ireland. The best finish for the United States was third at the 94 World Cup. And again, off the foot there by Catalina Yanez, wearing number four in the red Chilean jersey. So Team USA is hoping for their second quarter. Yannick Schottman looking on here. That third place finish in 94 at the World Cup in Dublin, Ireland. Australia won that year. 2010 in Rosario, Argentina. Team USA did not qualify. However, the Americans finished sixth in Madrid in 2006. But this is one of the fittest teams in the world in Team USA. And that should be advantageous for their World Cup chances. Still in the midst of a video review. Chile up 1-0 with the goal by Milagrad back in quarter number one. We could see Jackie Briggs on the bench with her blankets trying to keep her teammates and herself warm down there as the snow continues to fall. Yeah, if you're just joining us in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, it's low 30s here, snowing in April. Hannah wouldn't want to have it any other way, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> spring season isn't exactly spring season at this point. A little over five minutes left of our first half. First of a four-match test series here at the Spooky Nook Sports Complex. As Team USA is playing their third test series of 2018. They got swept by number one, Holland. And then in February, went one, two, and one against world number 21, Canada. When talking with Yannicka Schottman, she said that Canada's between player rotations, new players coming and leaving, but she's happy with the way Team USA finished against the Canadians and a learning experience, again, playing world number one in January despite losing. Yeah, of course, those are always great games. You can learn a lot from them. There's Virgil of Chile. Will be a penalty corner to the dismay of him and the Chileans. This will be the second quarter for Team USA. USA. So it's going to be DeSoy to insert here instead of Van Sickle for the Americans in the blue uniforms. Has Gonzalez, Sharkey, and Fee at the top of the battery. Frody and Whitmer on the left side as well. See how DeSoy does. Trapping it is Gonzalez. Mishandled there. Frody tries to rescue it. Sharkey has an opening. Schuler says no. Here's the deflection. Umpires say play on. Finally cleared there by Chile. Very scrappy play in the goal mouth there. Chilean defenders actually getting down on the ground to clear the ball. High pressure from USA. Jill Whitmer looking to keep the ball on the right side of the pitch. You can see that zonal marking there by Parker and Whitmer, as well as Kat Sharkey there, just applying that pressure. You see that a little bit different. Team USA will utilize that high press more throughout this Test series than chilling. Let's go back to this one. Hannah in the chance on the corner. There's the mistrap. Yeah, a slight mistrap, Gonzalez. Uh, Frody plays it off to Sharkey and makes the best attempt she could to get the shot off. Good work as well by Chile to stay with it here. Here's Manley. And of Warwick High School, another local product for Team USA. Villagra. Towards the near channel. Mishandled that. Went off of her stick. We'll stay with Manley on the side in for Team USA. Rio Olympian as well out of Syracuse, joined the national team in 2015, did Manley. Palma will transfer it over to the far flank here. Intercept at the 50 by DeSoy for Team USA. Here's the speed of the Americans and Whitmer. Carroll tried to play that to the top of the circle there. No blue shirts there. Instead, it was Manuela Oros of Chile. We'll try to counter it. You can see the speed of Gonzalez working back there with Parker. We'll stay with the Chileans. What has been your assessment of Team USA in the attacking 25 so far to start play tonight? USA has looked to go, you know, to the top of the circle to get their shots off. And I think at this point, it's pretty congested up there. They might need to work the ball a bit to open up some space 
so they can get their shots off properly. Is Chile trying to make this a scrappy game right now, putting a lot of jerseys around the ball? It appears so, and then it lasts a few minutes, and hopefully USA can maintain possession and get some clean shots off. There's Whitmer on the counter, trying to blaze past Flores. She has the clean tackle there for Chile. Add it on her backhand momentarily, and it will go back to Team USA as Whitmer's going to come back working with Gonzalez. Gonzalez playing the ball up to Taylor West on the right. Good foot by Taylor West. Through the legs of Salas. West will still have it for Team USA. As manly as an option, and we'll find her here. Out to Stephanie Fee. Yep, USA looking to switch fields here, open up some space. Snow still coming down here and give credit to the athletes for both countries battling amid the elements here at the Nook Complex. Frody will have it right at the 50. Manly now on the near channel working with West. We'll go back to Chile off the of foot of Team USA. Taylor West been very busy at a Princess Anne Maryland and James Madison joining the national team in 2016. It's the outlet there by Schuller. Roman. Solano was there as well for Chile. He will just halt play and here's the self star. Good intercept by Ali Frodi there. Yeah, she had the track via La Bietia. Freddie out of Miami, Ohio. First team all Mac player as well. Less than two left, and it appears both teams have slowed down a bit. Looking up top for Whitmer. Trying to glide past Flores. We'll have it on her forehand. Here's Whitmer still with possession. There's the tackle by Chile. Still kept alive here. Flores. Has it back for the Chileans, and we'll reverse it out of the circle. Manley and Woods keep it in. It's Woods along the baseline. Gonzalez pressuring the ball along with a handful of USA defenders. And Driscoll, the umpire, will rule. A self-start here for Gonzalez outside the circle. Still with it, trying to win a corner. 45 seconds left in our first half. one nothing Chile. Van Sickle can't keep this in. Too wide by the captain, Gonzalez, will go back to Chile, and I think Chile will be very content going into the half, leading 1-0. Here's another look at the attempt here. Jill Whitmer trying to dive it out for the ball, but just out of her reach, so the Chilean defender got the advantage there. Nearly a missed trap by Flores. There's the high pressure by Schiele. Whitmer with the press of the far flank. Desoy trying to go for the trap as well. Good attempted to intercept by Desoy on the left side. Weak aerial there by Chile. Desoy will have it. Waning moments of our first half here. Gonzalez will put the forehand inside. Schuller will just kick it out. And it will come out for Chile. And that will do it for the first half here at the Nook Complex. First of a four-match test series between the countries. Chile is up 1-0. USA has shown they have controlled the majority of the first half, having a lot of the possession in our attacking 50. And now we'll be interested to see how we bring it into the second half. Their resilience and the growth that they've shown over the last couple of months has been outstanding. And I'm excited for the second half. Team USA with two penalty corners to just one for Chile, but more importantly, Chile is up 1-0 thanks to the goal by Villagra as we reach halftime here at the Nook Complex.
Halftime here at the snowy, spooky Duck Sports Complex in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where Team USA is trailing one nothing to Chile. Thanks to the goal by Belagrod in the fourth minute. Give credit to the home crowd here in Lancaster. Amid the snow, it's in the low 30s here in Pennsylvania. Winds coming out of the south at around 7 to 10 miles per hour, but play still continuing. And Team Chile has really been doing exceptionally well, especially delivering on their lone penalty corner tonight. Yeah, they're um, very minimal opportunities in their attacking circle, so it was excellent by them that they were able to execute that corner. Let's take a look at the first half highlights of this one. Multiple opportunities for each country. Team USA had quite a few chances in quarter number one. It was Chile delivering here thanks to Villagra. That was a good trap there by Palma. Team USA with Magnin had a chance too. But there's been a lot of Chilean sticks trying to derail Team USA on these corners. Yeah, I think the Chilean defenders know how dangerous the U.S. shots are and they're really looking to get pressure immediately. See another opportunity for Kat Caro, and, and Schuler's made a couple stops for Chile. Yeah, she's been able to keep the USA down low on the baseline, which really makes it tough to get off of with the defenders joining. That was one of the prime targets there. Sharky up top for Team USA on the back end. She'll have it again here, trying with a drag flick. Schuler was there. Whitmer also raced, and Jill Whitmer has also had some opportunities amid the cage of Schuler. Yeah, and Whitmer is um, w well known for her diving as well. Like on that play, made it a great attempt to have a second effort on that ball. We saw Claudia Schuller do exceptionally well to get Team Chile a silver at the 2017 Pan American Cup. But here to start this four match test series, it's Team USA in the locker room trailing one nothing to Chile. We'll step aside again, come back for the start of our second half. Here at the Nook Complex, it's 1-0 Chile over the Americans.
getting ready to start the second half here at the Nook Complex. First of a four-match test series presented by City. Number seven, USA against number 15, Chile. With Hannah Prince and our entire fantastic crew, Dave Leno on hand, great to have you with us. As Team USA is gearing up for the 2018 Vitality Hockey Women's World Cup. They're playing this four-match test series. Then June 10th, the 17th, will be in Argentina to face world number three, Las Leonas. It's Netherlands right now, the world number one. England at two, Argentina at three. USA right now is seventh. Team Chile in 15th in the world. See all the fans braving the elements here at the Nook Complex. It has snowed. Started about, what, a couple hours before the broadcast tonight, Hannah? It's been coming down here yeah, in Lancaster seemed, County. Hasn't seemed to slow down much since the game started. Players, smart move going inside at halftime to keep their bodies warm as they just jogged back out onto the pitch. All right, so what do you want to see from Team USA? As Lauren Blades is going to go back in her cage to begin the half number two with their adjustments. I think USA will probably start off pretty strong. Uh, look to go after it, get on the board early in the second half. A small possession game. I know they usually look to hit forward if there's a lane, so we'll see if they're able to execute that. And our second half is underway. Off the stick there of West. Two corners again in half number one. 0 for 2 for Team USA. Chile one for one on their penalty corners. Flores, there's the high pressure there from Jill Whitmer. We'll work with Yanis. Over the stick of Caro that time. Van Sickle will see this go out of play. We'll stay with Team USA. Van Sickle with the side in now. Very successful press from Team USA. Whitmer has an option in Caro inside that was deflected there by Villagra, the goal scorer. On this flank here off the stick of Van Sickle. And that time out from the stick of Villabietia. And Van Sickle again from Wilmington, Delaware. It's the Pan American Cup due to injury. Great to see her as well now on the pitch for the United States. It's part of the game as well, just battling adversity, those injuries, and then these players are just so fit to come back even stronger. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what we'll look to see with Michelle Vatisse only out for a couple weeks, and she'll likely come back stronger than ever. Yeah, with that knee injury, Julia Young as well tore her ACL against Chile and Lauren Moyer been nursing an ankle injury. We wish them well and hope they're getting back to true form. Over the stick of Vitisse that time. Salas, again, they're about two to three weeks away, according to Yannicka Schottman. Definitely in consideration for the World Cup, and that's what a lot of these players for Team USA just was within itself had is gearing up for to be one of those 18 players to get selected for that World Cup roster where you have 16 that play and you have two P2 alternates. Yeah, there's a handful of younger players who now have gained a bunch of experience. So I'm curious to see who will end up making that final roster come July. Speaking with Yannicka Schottman, she mentioned that she took about roughly 21 players to Argentina in June for that last test series before the 2018 Women's Hockey World Cup in London. That'll be a great opportunity for the USA to finish up their preparation playing against one of the top teams in the world. And yeah, Marino is just so skillful to watch for uh, Argentina. She's all over the pitch for Las Leonas and Augustin Corradini, their head coach. Team USA in the transition game with Sharkey looking up ahead for West. Said that was tackled there by Yanez. Good intercept by her. Off the stick of Villalabietia. Gonzalez was there. Will appeal for a foot. She'll get it. Van Sickle. And time side steps around Lagos. We'll find Sharkey inside the attacking 25. West to the right off of Solano. Great inside outside play there by Van Sickle and Gonzalez to work the ball into the 25. There's the transfer to the center back now. Frody will switch the channel. Played inside the circle there. Schuler will come out as a 16. Claudia Schuler, fantastic half number one. 
here at the Nook Complex for Chile and for Sergio Vigil and Diego Amoroso's unit. Coach Shotman on the sideline encouraging the strikers to get a little bit closer on this press. Cat Carroll pressuring the ball. Chile does find Giannis. Navigates around West. Four players marking on the press for Team USA off the stick of Van Sickle. Nice work for her nonetheless to step up and hold play. And we'll have a side in here for Villagra. She'll get it back on the intercept. To Gonzalez. Look at three players marking her. And look at this dribbling here by Gonzalez. There's the tackle, though, won by Villalabietia. And up the pitch here on the right side, looking with Lagos. But you see the speed there of Gonzalez. She lost it momentarily, Hannah, and she backtracked to bail her team out. Yeah, there's not any hesitation at all in her back tackle, which is incredible. Lagos comes out with the chip, and it's in for Chile. What a remarkable run there inside the circle on that entry for Chile. And the Chileans up 2 0. Chilean attacker playing the ball into the circle, getting a good extension there and a lift over Lauren Blazing. Really well executed shot. Good attempt by their attacker to follow it in the cage as well. It's a rose that will be credited for the goal. It was Lagos who started it. A rose with that reverse right over Blazing and the Chileans lead to nothing. Chris Vatiz playing the ball up the right sideline. A little bit of a scramble over there. So Villagran has the first tally for Chile. It's a rose on the second for Virgil and Amoroso's unit. See how Team USA responds now trailing by two goals. Here's Parker. Looking for Woods, edge of the circle here for Team USA. Flores was marking her. It'll be a 16 coming out for Chile, says Susie Sutton. Well, now she's going to change it here. And will be a free hit for the 23-meter line as she confers with Mary Driscoll. Good umpiring here tonight. Video umpire is Maggie Beffert. Seen three reviews so far. A couple have been overturned. And it's just about getting the call right. Great job by everybody here at the Nook. Aras. Working inside the defense of 25 for Chile. But how about this performance by the Chileans? Are you surprised at just how successful they're delivering up two goals? Yeah, I think they've really came out strong so far this game and shown that when they are given opportunities, they're able to execute. Here's Whitmer trying to take matters in her own hands. Will win the third penalty corner for Team USA. Questioning whether that was actually in the circle or not, but USA seems pleased with the attack penalty corner call. USA corner coming up. This is where the Team USA USA wants, wants to deliver here. Yannicka shot. Her athletes in have been working on this. They've gone through a six-week training in the dome Chile. because of the horrid weather in the Northeast. Let's see how they capitalize here. Schuler's ready and so are our flyers. Chile to insert for Team USA. Third penalty corner to the top of the battery. It's Frody! And Chile almost had an opportunity on the rebound. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to finish that play. Rebound off the keeper and Chile was inches from being able to redirect that in the cage. I'm sure she's going to be dreaming about that one. Sweep doesn't go home for Team USA. See how they resurrect the possession here. Fatisse on the right side. Over Woods. There was Yanez for Chile. Come back here for the Chileans. They've done well defensively on those corners. I think if, as you mentioned, that rebound, if that goes in, it would be a different story. Maybe that wasn't covered as efficiently for Chile. Nonetheless, they bail out of it. USA with an incredibly high press right now. Whitmer forcing the ball onto the left side. Be a side in here for Stephanie Fee. Gonzalez is going to come out, catch Sharkey on. Here's Fee. Didn't get all of that, nonetheless, in the possession of Sheely. Lost it. 
Here's Sharkey. Sharkey's going to play this inside the circle. Sheely, another opportunity. Good intercept there by Chile. Fee will get it back. Has Parker look at Fee. Stein step around Yanez. Stephanie Fee is looking again for Sheely. Cat Sharkey's there. Trying to get this past Yakov. Outside the defense of 25 for Chile, and Frody's going to reset. Batiste into Barham. Here's Fatisse again using her speed inside the 25. Sharkey on the backhand, stopped by Schuler and kicked away. And what a shot by Sharkey again, like I mentioned earlier. That's probably her favorite shot, the backhand being played in. Excellent shot. And back to live action here amid Schuler. And it's going to come out here for Chile. How about the work Schuler's doing tonight? She's made four or five sensational saves. Yeah, she's done an excellent job. USA looking to shoot as soon as they get into the circle. Here's that last opportunity as we were in the midst of a replay. Woods at the doorstep along with Whitmer went off the jersey of Team USA. That's why it came out for Chile. Great to see Team USA getting on the turf, trying to make that happen. Hopefully in the next coming minutes we can get back in there. But you're seeing some more opportunities since that second goal by Oros for Team USA. Yeah, absolutely. Probably three or four shots at this point. Under six minutes to go in our third quarter, 2-0 Chile. Team USA with five subs standing on the sideline, looking to stay warm and get back in the game. Parker. Handles it here around Machado. Whitmer trying to play that through. Shield is with it. Tackled there, however, by Canino, who will come out for Chile. Van Sickle will come on and she will replace Ellie Frody. So she'll go in the back and play that left back spot out there with Fee and Vitisse. Here's that high press that Shotman wants and she gets it here on the intercept. Team USA working with Woods here. Out comes Schuler. Look how far she is from her line. Very brave by Schuler. Woods has it inside the circle. And this will be a free hit from the attacking 25. Excellent pressure for them from the Chilean goalkeeper getting right up with Nicole Woods, really shutting down the attack. A very aggressive approach. Yes, yeah, she did an excellent job coming out. Great composure. Could have potentially hit a USA foot as well. It's going to be a penalty corner again for Team USA. This will be the Americans' fourth in the match. Here's why. Ball down to the sideline. Parker carrying. Great extension there. Oh, looks like an intentional uh, push off the end line from the Chilean defender, which is upgraded to a corner. So far, Team USA 0 for 3 on penalty quarters. Benegas and company getting re ready to try to defend this opportunity. It will be Van Sickle this time to insert. She was the injector on corner number one. To the top of the battery, the slip to Sharkey with the forehand, stopped by Schuler. Rebound attempt by Woods to no avail. Van Sickle outside to Sharkey. Sharkey on her forehand looking for Sheely. And another corner called. It will be the fifth for Team USA. A great strike by Sharkey from the top, allowing the USA to get a rebound there. A couple of rebounds there. It's another USA corner. Sharkey getting that second shot and Sheely tucking it into a Chilean foot. 333 remaining in our third quarter. It will be Van Sickle to the top of the battery yet again. The slip to Sharkey and it's in for the Americans. It's 2-1. Very well executed strike there for Sharkey. That was her, what, third or fourth attempt and probably very pleased that she was able to Strike the ball into that left corner. Awesome shot. Those bouncy strikes are incredibly hard to save. The keeper, their right trail for the Chilean defender was pretty wide of the post, so she wasn't able to make a play on the ball either. Schuler's looked really good in tonight's match, but that time, Sharkey got the better end of that. Cut in half now, it's 2-1 Chile with the goal advantage. 
foot on the pedal here for Team USA, and it's pressing here. We'll stay with the Americans and Stephanie Fee on the side in as West up top, Kara Woods, Sharky, and DeSoy on the far channel. I'm wondering if the snow is having an effect on the turf. It appears a lot of the passes have been quite skippy. It has been coming down for a couple hours now. It doesn't appear to be sticking, though. Carroll play that four to Gonzalez. She'll keep it in play on the sideline. Gonzalez off the foot of the Chilean Roman. Gonzalez will have it on the self start here. Around Lagos, Gonzalez gets it back on her forehand. Out comes Schuler, trying to kick it away. And off of a foot of the Americans back to Chile. Sharkey looking to use the video referral here. I think she believes there was a Chilean foot potentially down with Gonzalez. Yep, we're going to get another video review. Susie Sutton and Mary Driscoll are umpires. The video umpire well, is Maggie Beffert. Fourth review tonight. Not a great night for the video referrals with the temperature, but hopefully Team USA and the Chilean team can stay nice and warm. Yeah, we saw Team USA go into the locker room at half to warm up. As Team USA is gearing up for training and for the following test series against Argentina before the World Cup. Here's what the umpires are looking at here. Gonzalez spinning the ball into the Chilean defender, which was indeed a foot, so it's a corner. Off of Fernanda Flores of Chile. Sixth corner here for Team USA, USA they're one of five. Corner. Shotman gave the call in to Stephanie Fee, now with the huddle making a game plan for them. It will be DeSoy to insert for Team USA. That's Gonzalez at the top of the battery, along with Sharkey and West. If they opt to slip left, Woods could be an R2 on the right side for Team USA, should they go to that edge of the battery. Desoy to the top. There's a mistrap by Gonzalez. Trying to salvage the possession with Sharkey. Had it on her forehand. Sharkey walking in on the backhand, and it's kicked aside by Schuler. Yeah, unfortunate mistrap there. I think the turf might be getting a little bit slick. Gonzalez passing it over to the left for Sharkey on that replay. Hit a foot of Team USA, so we'll come out here for Chile. Boy, another huge stop by Claudia Schuler tonight. Marvelous game by her. USA putting three strikers up to press the Chilean backs in their outlet. It's off of Machado here. Lagos was looking for Villalave Tia. Be a side in here. Stefan Fee's going to come out. Frody replaces her. Frody has some room to Gonzalez. USA's press has shown very successful. A lot of turnovers here on the left side by the Chileans trying to force the ball forward. So great pressure by USA. And in this type of match, Hannah, they haven't exposed themselves too much to the counterattack as well. Yeah, correct. They've cr kept an incredible structure in the backfield. Um, definitely having a lot of layers defensively, which is one of the reasons why, like you said, there's been very minimal counterattack against them. Under two minutes to go in our third quarter. 2-1 match. We're in the first of a four-match test series. It's going to stay with Team Chile here. Serta. Inside the circle there, another opportunity. Kicked aside by Blazing of Team USA in the cage. It will be a corner. This will be the second corner for Chile. Blazing looks a little concerned with the call. Corner. Team USA looking for their masks for the defensive corners. There's only 30 seconds, uh, oh no, 19 seconds left before the Chileans are allowed to take their corner. Here's the umpires calling a timeout so that USA can retrieve the masks. on the opposite side of the pitch, so 
Sharky's going to race this over to Manley. Stephanie Fee had to retrieve that. Extra warm up here for Manley, getting ready for the and defensive there, corner. There's the famous Lululemon bag. Yes. And there's the presence. Team USA does a lot of yoga, which helps with their stretching and mobility. I think it's also a good meditation aspect that it adds as well. Well, 135 remaining in the third quarter as Team USA is going to retrieve those masks. And there's an opportunity for Chile to add their total. Team Chile was up 2 nothing to start the match. To the top of the battery here. And the drag flick is steered aside by Team USA. Great fly by Taylor West getting pressure on that drag flick. Chile towards the edge of the circle there. There's the clean tackle there by Sharkey. And up ahead here to Kat Caro. Being marked here by Palma. Caro. Inside was lucky for Sharkey. Shotman liked the attempt, though, as Caro lost her stick. Gonzalez tried to get that. Bielabiatia just let that play through to Chile. Under a minute to go in our third quarter. And a side in here for Machado. She'll have the aerial for the Chileans. Got Team USA in the blue jerseys, Chile and red. And Van Sickle will find DeSoy. Good move by DeSoy here. Working on the near flank with Sheely as Caro towards the baseline. Sheely will find Caro across this back to DeSoy. That was derailed by the Chileans. Gonzalez still with it. Has it on her backhand with the shot and it's kicked aside by Schuler. Sharkey tries to keep this in. Gets another corner for Team USA. What pressure USA is now putting on the Chilean defenders, getting a shot, and um, we'll see here on the replay. Gonzalez with a backhand to the far post, another great save. USA. Taylor West with the poise, and putting that ball into the Chilean defender's foot. See how Schuller responds here. Her country is up a goal. Tail end of our third quarter here at the Nook. And amid the snow, Van Sickle to insert on the seventh penalty corner for Team USA. A trap there, it's Frody on the sweep, and Van Sickle was right there for the rebound. Frody's got an excellent sweep, a uh, ton of power behind it, and typically very accurate as it was on this. Just Van Sickle's tip, just inches wide. But that was well executed from Team USA. They'll like that when they review the tape of this one. Just Van Sickle would like to put that on frame. Absolutely. And that will take us to the conclusion Please. of the third quarter. So Team USA was down two goals, Hannah, but they get one thanks to Sharkey. Yeah, it was excellently executed. I would expect in this last quarter, USA is going to full press again like they were showing, having all three strikers coming at the ball. A lot of high pressure by Yannicka Shotman's unit. They do cut. The Chilean lead in half. It's 2-1 Chile on a snowy night here at the Nook Complex. Our fourth quarter will commence after these messages.
Here's a look at some of the opportunities in the third quarter. There's the Uros goal to put Chile up 2-0. Penalty quarter for Team USA. Schuler's come up with some sensational stops in this match as well. Jill Whitmer with the backhand attempt was denied by Schuler, just very brave off of her line as well. Woods tried to come up big for Team USA the third. Here's where Team USA had an opportunity as well. And finally, we're going to get it with Sharkey here on the direct shot there. Good forehand to put it at a 2-1 match. And that's where we stand as we begin quarter number four with Hannah Pritz, Dave Leno, and our fantastic crew at the Nook Complex. The snowy Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Thanks so much for tuning in for the first of a four-match test series. And Hannah, what do you want to see from Team USA to try to level this match? I think they need to value possession a little bit more, even right here with this play. Parker driving it up the left side and tosses the ball into the Chilean defender. I think if they want to, you know, pull off another goal or two, they're going to have to value possession. Chile tried to go inside off of Villagran. Here's Woods towards the baseline. And it goes outside the field of play will be a 16. And a hit coming out nonetheless here for Chile above the circle. But you saw how good that press was from Team USA. What did you like the most about that pressure in quarter number three? As soon as the ball was moved by the Chilean backs, USA was sprinting at them, putting a ton of pressure on. And the layers in behind, the strikers were stepping up as well, ready for those intercepts. It's off of Woods. Mary Driscoll says it will belong to Chile in the red uniforms, Team USA in blue. There's that high press with Whitmer and Gonzalez working the far flight, causes the turnover back to Team USA towards the attacking 25. With Gonzalez now. Batiste swinging the ball around the backfield, looking to open up some space for USA to attack forward. On the transfer left to Fee, we'll find Parker trying to navigate around Lagos towards the baseline on her backhand there. Villavientia is pressured here by Stephanie Fee. There's the intercept by Woods. Finds Fee along the baseline. Fee was trapped there. My Villagran will come out for Chile. Villagran was the first goal scorer in the match to put Chile up 1-0. Chile taking their time to get in position on the outlet here and a missed trap in the backfield. So here's a look again at Team USA's lone goal in the match. It came off a penalty corner. Yeah, excellent shot by Sharkey into that bottom left corner. Very well executed, uh, really out of the goalkeeper's reach. Buried it in the bottom corner. Sharkey with another attempt, and Schuler comes up with a huge save yet again. Yeah, what an incredible save. She's had an excellent game. Sheely passing the ball over to Whitmer, and it looks like it was actually a tad wide, but regardless, incredibly dangerous play. But off her stick, Claudia Schuler has been having the game of her life. She yep. doesn't stop some of those, Hannah. This could be a wide open game with Team USA having a, a huge advantage. Yeah, Team USA has definitely been dominating statistically with shots, and she's really held, held their defense strong back there. So here's Fatisse. It's Carissa in the midfield for Team USA. We'll find men. Spots Parker inside the attacking 25. Was looking that time for Whitmer in the intercept. There by Flores, trip there by Whitmer. We'll stay with Chile. Fearless defense by Whitmer staying in front of that Chilean backstick. Parker will have it on the side in for Team USA. That time off the stick of Venegas. Here's the transfer to the far channel now for Team Chile and Augustina Solano. A side in right around the 50 for Chile. USA with plenty of defenders under the ball looking to keep it in their defensive. Seen a lot of numbers high for Team USA. Not too many opportunities in the second half for Chile in their attacking 25. Just placed the advantage of that relentless press from the Americans. 
Here's a rose. We'll find Venegas. Looking up there for Kim Yaka. Touch by Frody, knocking it into the Chilean, then bounced off the end line, so it worked in her favor for an outlet from Team USA. And Vitesse. Magadid will find Woods with a step there on Villagran. Woods is Caro inside the circle. And be free hit from the 23 meter line for Team USA. Magadid will have it for the United States. Instead, there is Yaya Roman. Go back to Chile. Interested to see how USA will continue to press in this corner. And it appears that they're falling to the 25. Caro now pressuring the ball. Clean transfer here to Catalina Yanis. Over the stick of Stephanie Fee, Kim Yaka. Also has De La Haras. She's gonna to try to give chase here along the baseline. She'll run out of real estate. And a 16 coming out for the Americans. Sheely will have it. A challenge there by Tala. On the self star, working with Sharkey. Has room on the far flag. Here comes Team USA in transition with Magadin. Looking for Woods that time. There was Roman to halt play. USA looking to balance their circle attack here. Taylor West, uh, far side of the circle, choosing her moments to lead in front of the Chilean defender. About 8.30 remaining in the first of a four-match test series here at the NUC 2-1 Chile. Last goal was by Sharkey. Here's West across the 50 for Team USA. We'll find Caro. Inside the attack, a 25. Around Venegas. Chile, top of the circle. You can hear Coach Chapman on the sideline encouraging the team to use their speed on the counterattack. Don't think she was pleased with that one. That was a good jab there by Fernanda Villagra. And again, she's been. Quite a two-way player for Team Chile and Sergio Fajil, Yannicka Schottman, encouraging her team on to keep applying that pressure and try to level this match. I think it'll be key that USA continues to take their self-starts quicker, get the Chilean defenders on their heels. And a penalty quarter for Team USA off the foot of Chile. Yeah, great drive there from the USA attacker up the right sideline. Got a push from the Chilean defender, which led to the attack penalty corner. Will be Van Sickle to insert for Team USA. Claudia Schuller is ready along with Chile. Up 2-1. 7.33 remaining in the match. As Fee, West, and Sharkey up top. Here's the penalty quarter. Slip to Sharkey, saved by Schuller. Rebound and top this end for Team USA. And Van Sickle, we're deadlocked at two. Incredibly powerful shot by Kat Sharkey from the top. Regardless of if that one in the cage, it would have for sure been a stroke as it bounced off of the Chilean defender's body here. Great touch. Taylor West putting it in. Will be Taylor West getting credited for the goal there. Van Sickle was also there. And on the eighth quarter, it's a 2-2 match. Taylor West has had a phenomenal game as well. Had a strong start tonight. Yeah, she's provided a lot of attack for Team USA. Her speed is incredible up front, and she's made some great plays. Snow still continuing to fall here at the Nook Complex. Sharkey made it 2-1, and it was West to lock it up here. Gonzalez in the transition game, working with Carissa Vitesse. 
USA. Goal. Scored it is by still coming down here in Taylor Lancaster, West. Pennsylvania, the Spooky Duck Sports Ties Complex. Two, two. Snowing for about Top five goal, hours 15, here in Lancaster minutes. County. And give credit to the athletes and the fans braving the elements and competing tonight. I'm sure the fans here appreciate a 2-2 two -two game. Here's the transfer over to the near channel and Stephanie Fee. We'll find Sharkey, one of the goal scorers this evening. Up ahead to Desoy inside the attacking 25. Desoy around Venegas will put that in amid Schuler and clear it outside the circle from Chile will be a side in for Stephanie Fee. Fee inside the circle again looking for Desoy. There's the interstep. Rose finds Jakob, marked by two in Fee and Barna. Jakob still with possession and a side in for Team USA. USA seeming to have gained some momentum from their last goal. Play a little bit slowed down here in the midfield. Flores will have it on the self start for Chile. Very efficient in the back. There's the intercept by West, working with Whitmer up top. Caro's the highest player out there for Team USA. Team USA is pressed. Previously had Jill Whitmer hanging out around the 25, really looking to threaten the Chilean backfield, so they weren't unable to swing the ball. Frode around Yaka. Makes our fall to the turf. Desoy will have it on the near channel. Off of Machado will be assigned for Team USA as Desoy goes up to Sharkey. Sharkey tried to go through the legs that time. Uh, Villagran will stay with Team USA, hit outside the circle. Called by Susie Sutton. And Manley's going to transfer it over to the far flank here for Van Sickle. Gonzalez working towards the baseline here with Parker. On all of USA's plays in the TAC 25, you can see one of their strikers down at the baseline really providing the USA attack with a lot of stretch. Kat Sharkey colliding with the Chilean defender appears to grab her face after she stands up, appears to be okay now. Good pressure there by Parker. Yannicka Schottman saying no foul to her team. And a 16 coming out for Chile. Kat Caro now standing in the circle, looking to threaten the Chilean backs from transferring the ball. Another look at the goal here as Team USA levels it here on the rebound thanks to Taylor West. Yeah, great reaction by Taylor West, just putting that ball in the air over the Chilean defender. And you saw two players around that rebound in Van Sickle and West. A credit to, to Team USA just getting a lot of bodies inside the circle off of those penalty corners. Too far over the stick there of Whitmer will be a 16 here for Chile. But this is a great response, and it shows the resiliency of Team USA, who was down 2-0 to the Chileans. Yeah, this is one of Team USA's strengths is their resiliency, like Dave just said. And um, I think they're... They're going to have some legs in them for those last three minutes, and they can hopefully get on the board again. Chile trying to get to their attacking 25 here with a rose. Villa BAT is up top towards the edge of the circle here. Gonzalez is just trying to clear her defense of 25. She'll have it on the self start for Team USA. What a quick restart by Gonzalez there, looking to change the tempo of the game. Oh, yet again, passing the ball out to the left side. Desoy, head up, has options off the pitch, and we'll find Woods. To spot Whitmer. On the give and go with Woods, Desoy will have it. Shopping, telling her to keep her eyes up. Sheely will spot Van Sickle, changing the point of attack here. On the flank of Parker. Parker towards the edge of the baseline, trying to win the corner. 
It's a big play here for Team USA. Now with a free hit just outside the circle. In the possession of Alyssa Parker. She'll have it on the restart. Was searching for Sheely that time with the tackle. Van Sickle will keep it inside the attacking 25 and off of Solano. USA swinging the ball around the backfield, probably trying to open up some space because that right side is very closed. It's off the stick of Manley. Too tough to handle from Frody's outlet. Van Sickle the intercept. At the 50, we'll find Parker up ahead is Woods and Sheely for Team USA. Spotting Woods working the wing well tonight. We'll stay with Team USA on the quick restart. Woods looking to expose a Chilean defender's foot. Doesn't appear she was able to, but another free head at the 23 meter. 110 remaining in the first of a four match test series between USA and Chile. Manley trying to open up the pitch. It will with Magadan on the left side. Inside the circle or cross in for Whitmer. Out comes Schuler. It'll be a free hit for the 23 meter line for Team USA. Under a minute to play in regulation. Freddie will go up high to Van Sickle. Searching for Woods. We'll stay with Team USA and a hit outside the circle. Chilean defender is looking to slow down that play there, not allowing the Team USA attackers to get on that free hit very quickly. Jill Wetmer looking to keep the ball on the right side of the field. Here's a Rose. Up top is Salas as well. It's Salas in possession here on the give and go with the Rose. Good tackle by Manley, cleared away. It will come out for Team USA. As this one will end up in a 2-2 draw. What resiliency by Team USA, who is down 2-0. They leveled it up and it results in a 2-2 game. Yeah, excellent job by Team USA to come back in the second half. I think that they generated a lot of attack and it, they trusted that they would eventually be able to put it in the back of the net, which they did. Unfortunate play here in the last 30 seconds, though, with the Chilean attack getting a near shot off. Here's the scoring summary of tonight's match between Chile and Team USA. Early on it was Milagrod off the penalty quarter for Chile to give the Chileans the one nothing lead. Nifty work there by Arose who made it 2 nothing. but that's when things change for Team USA. Yeah, Kat Sharkey was able to execute this penalty corner shot to get the score to 2-1. Have a good evening. And again, another Kat Sharkey shot, which is finished by Taylor West, lifted over the keeper. Remarkable work by Team USA to apply that pressure, stick with the press, in particular in quarter number three, and give credit to the fans out here, uh, sticking it out amid the snow in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Chile with a remarkable match number one, but Team USA does lock it up, and it results in a 2-2 game. For Hannah Prince and our fantastic crew, this is Dave Leno saying so long for the Nook Complex. It's a broadcast reminder, our next match will be at 6.30 Eastern, where Team USA takes on Chile in match number two of this four-match test series. But the first is in the books. It's a 2-2 draw. We'll talk to you on Wednesday night, everybody. Have a great rest of your evening, everyone.